providing quiz question feedback in new quizzes in Canvas. Like classic quizzes, new quizzes allow you to provide extensive feedback to students automatically based upon their choice of answers in quiz questions in new quizzes. To see how this works, let's go to a new quiz. and go to the build button and we'll take a look at the questions here uh, we'll edit these questions we'll probably they were these came out of a quiz bank so we'll probably have to edit them in the bank yes that's normal and we'll edit a new copy the feedback symbols here are easy to miss that's the one drawback to providing feedback in new quizzes it's not as obvious how to get there. Given that this is a true-false question, we just have general feedback available to us, and it's under this little symbol right here, the two little document symbols, the uh, balloon document symbols. If I click that symbol, I can see that I can provide feedback in the event of a correct answer, feedback in the event of an incorrect answer to this question, and general feedback about the question regardless of answer. And all I have to do is type the feedback in to these rich content editor boxes. You may note that in new quizzes at this point, we're still using the old rich content editor. Instructor's working on that, updating that now. But that is a, a minor issue, not too bad. Okay, so we just enter the feedback that we wish to provide and click done. Here we have a multiple choice question, which gives you a few more opportunities for feedback. Again, if we'll edit that question in the bank and edit a copy, normal behavior with a question that's been pulled from a, an item bank in new quizzes. Uh, but henceforth, these changes will take effect. Here we have the same overall question feedback option that we had before and a for a positive answer, a, an incorrect answer. And here we've got a little bit more sophisticated feedback. Given that you have the full old rich content editor here, you can not only type text, but also embed video. We'll see how that looks to a student here in a minute. You do that through the insert media button here, go to the embed tab, and then just paste an embed code like from YouTube or Canvas Studio into this box, which we've already done here. <laughs> There's a video feedback. And when we've finished entering the feedback, we just click done. In the case of multiple choice questions, you can also provide feedback for each answer, possible answer in the multiple choice question. Here's specific targeted feedback in the event that the student picks this answer. And here's another. And another. So you can add feedback that will be displayed for the student in the event of uh, them picking a particular multiple choice answer. And we'll just click done and close that. Now let's see what this test looks like to a student and how the student receives the feedback. We'll just go to student view here, activate our test student, and select that same quiz, and begin the test in the usual way. All right, generally the incorrect feedback is a little bit more interesting, so let's miss this one. That is, <laughs> that is true, I'm gonna answer false. And I'll just pick one of these and click Submit. Yes, I want to submit the test. If you have enabled viewing of feedback in your settings when you created the test, or if you've just left the settings at their default value, the student will see not only how they did on this question, but also get the feedback that you've typed in for the individual question. 
missed this question, so there's an explanation. And general feedback gives some help to the a student to go get their Zoom account. Here again, we've gotten individual question feedback based upon the student's answer. That would change depending on which multiple choice answer they picked. The fact that it was missed gives some general, <laughs> uh, hopefully gentle, negative feedback. And then here's the general feedback with the video that will show the person how to go and find out more about their Zoom account. And that's a dynamic... Well, good afternoon, everyone. It's a dynamic video that they can play their way right through. All right, so that's how you can provide individual question feedback that is delivered to students automatically with no further effort on your part in new quizzes in Canvas.